Hi everybody, this is Asher Barber 9 and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to take a look at the 55th anniversary Christie doll. I really really love this doll like I'm a big big fan of Christie. If you're a 90s kid you know who Christie is like she was one of my favorite um, friends uh, from the Barbie line back in the day. It's a shame though that she got replaced with Nikki. Like, I just don't understand the thought process behind that. Um, personally, um, I don't really like Nikki. Like, she just, she doesn't have as much personality as much as Christy. Uh, Christy was a lot better in my opinion and Nikki was just kind of there most of the time being the token black friend. But Christy was like, a lot more like special she was had a lot more personality yeah but at least we got to see Christy again this year and I'm so glad that they're finally giving her the tribute that she deserves okay so for those who didn't know um, Christy is the very first um, black friend of Barbie from the Barbie line and she pretty much um, paved the way for every other um, black character that has appeared in the Barbie line, including and most notably, Black Barbie herself. This year is um, Christie's uh, 55th anniversary. It's been 55 years um, since she debuted. I believe she debuted in 1967, uh, was it? 68, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> like, I'm really bad at math. But uh, yeah, it's her 55th anniversary, and uh, yeah, I really, really love her. Here's the back of the box. And it's really just um, yeah, it's it's really just words. Oh, okay, 1968. <laughs> yeah, I'm really bad at math. Sorry, <laughs> but uh, yeah, really love her. Uh, some people are saying that uh, maybe they should have used like a classic Christie sculpt. You know all the sculpts that they used they've used for Christy, most notably the uh, Asha face. Uh, the Asha face is usually um, the face that uh, they used for Christy back in the day. But uh, yeah, it is what it is though that uh, they've used the Simone sculpt instead. But I quite like the Simone sculpt. Like, uh, she's uh, she's really pretty here. Just stunning. Oh gosh. Well, anyway, um, you know the drill. Um, I'm gonna open this girl up. And uh, yeah, I got her since April and I've been itching to like get her out of the box. But yeah, and as always, um, you know this about me. Um, I don't like dolls uh, without articulation. So I will be swapping her body to this one, a Barbie Lux model number 14 doll. Let me just put it here. Yeah, they're pretty much the same skin tone. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty much the same skin tone. I think uh, the transfer will uh, be fine. And uh, yeah, let's see how it goes. So anyway, I will be right back. And here she is out of the box, the 55th anniversary Christy doll. Oh my gosh, you guys, like, look at her. Like, isn't she stunning? Like, oh my gosh. Like, I love this doll so much from head to toe. Like, oh, this outfit, oh, how she looks, the styling, the overall look. Like, I'm in love, you guys, like, I'm in love. <laughs> And of course, as you can see here, uh, the transfer process was a success. And, uh, and just so you know, okay, there's there's a little uh, discrepancy here. Um, her body, her new body right now, is actually a bit darker than her original body. Like this is her original body right here, and her original body is actually a bit lighter than uh, the new uh, body that I put her in. But for some reason, her head, her head actually matches uh, the new body more than it did with her original body. As you can see here, 
like yeah, the, the head is actually darker than the body. And it's also like a lot more cool toned. Like this is a lot more warm. So yeah, uh, <laughs> this is actually a good thing. Kind of ironic that her uh, head doesn't actually match her, op her uh, original body. But uh, yeah, at least the donor <laughs> matches her head more. So yeah, just putting it in there. <laughs> Seriously, isn't she gorgeous, you guys? Like, oh my gosh, like, I just love her entire look. Like, this outfit is to die for. Like, oh my gosh. It's so well designed and it complements her like really, really well. Um, this is based, by the way, on uh, the uh, original Christy. Uh, it was uh, one of her outfits uh, back in the 60s, but uh, made more modern and glamorized a little bit. Uh, the doll was uh, designed by uh, Mattel designer Bill Greening. Um, Bill is actually like one of my favorites. Like, I've always loved uh, his designs since I was younger. And now I'm glad that he's uh, still uh, working for Barbie and still uh, doing amazing, amazing designs. And I just love like the color scheme. Like I love the pops of orange with pink and yellow and the gold jewelry. Like everything just works here. Like honestly, like gosh, like this, like this is fashion y'all. Like this girl. Like, she knows fashion. <laughs> For those who aren't aware, um, the doll actually has the Simone face sculpt, which uh, debuted in the uh, Barbie Looks model number 10 doll. Uh, yeah. It's really amazing, you know, because uh, this doll, like, looks nothing like her. But, uh, yeah, she is the same sculpt. Yeah, it's kind of amazing, isn't it? Like, uh, what hair and uh, face paint can do to a doll to make her look like a completely different character. And I actually do have the original Simone doll here with me. And yeah, we got her last year. And then, yeah. Like, these two look nothing alike. But <laughs> yeah, it's the same doll. Like, it's the same um, face. <laughs> But they they look like uh, complete different strangers. Like the vibe in both of these dolls cannot be any more different. Yeah, it's amazing, you know, like how you can just style a doll to make her look so different. But yeah, it's the same face. So yeah, and I really really love all the pieces from her outfit, especially this gorgeous gorgeous sheer overlay like i love this material like oh gosh like it is so nice honestly and i love the print as well i love the colors used the orange the pinks the yellows it's a really cool like psychedelic print it really looks great against uh, the orange dress underneath And I really, really love the accessories that she has as well. Like, I love these earrings. Um, I definitely have seen this um, earring mold before. Uh, I believe it has been uh, repeatedly used now, but that's okay. I mean, uh, they are a very uh, flexible uh, uh, earring mold. And I think it looks great with um, any outfit, especially this one. I also love uh, this uh, necklace. Uh, it is new, by the way, and it has the Christie logo on it. Or at least uh, one of the Christie logos. I do remember this. <laughs> and, uh, and this belt, I also love it. Like, it really does um, help balance out, like, everything like, from the uh, orange pleather dress to the uh, psychedelic print on the uh, sheer overlay. And I do love it. It looks really nice. And yes, of course, it's removable. 
However, as you can see here, uh, as ever since I put her in this uh, made to move body, she is a bit thicker now. So uh, the edge of the belt is <laughs> right here. So yeah, it's barely just, um, uh, barely just fits her, but mm, that's the price you pay, I guess, when you, uh, move a doll to a thicker body but that's okay i'm okay with it and of course we can't forget the shoes like oh my gosh uh, this shoe mold is absolutely breathtaking i absolutely love it like if i saw like an actual person with these shoes on in real life like i would probably die y'all <laughs> like i would probably die like <laughs> These are absolutely magnificent. Yeah, the accessories like really do like make this outfit. Like everything looks so cohesive here. <laughs> I also like really, really love the hair on this doll. Like, oh, it's so gorgeous. <laughs> Mattel really does like a really, really good job when it comes to uh, afro textured hair and I absolutely love this yeah it's also like a really really nice color which I love and I'm kind of tempted to like take it out but I probably shouldn't because yeah she looks like really good already in my opinion and so here she is without the sheer overlay on Personally, I really, I really, really like this dress. Um, it's nothing too like elaborate or anything. It's pretty simple, pretty basic. But personally, I think it works as an outfit by itself. Like it's, it's pretty cute. Like this is a look, I think. And I also do love like, the leather fabric that they used here. Uh, just so you know, by the way, uh, this leather fabric uh, it will degrade over time if you won't take care of it. Uh, there are ways though to like prevent or at least uh, slow down the degrading process of a fake leather or pleather. Uh, all you need to do really is to store it in a non-humid environment. Uh, so personally I put all my dolls like uh, in a storage where uh, there's always air conditioning and uh, there are dehumidifiers and desiccants. So yeah, uh, hopefully, like, I'm able to, like, take care of, like, my dolls with, like, pleather and leather accessories. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, if you have this doll, uh, you have been warned, you have to put this doll, like, uh, in a non-humid environment so that the, uh, the dress uh, won't degrade. And because I love this doll so much, I'm going to give her this something that will go with her outfit and it's a, a miniature Elmis Kelly. I really really love this bag like it's such a nice color it goes well with all of the oranges and pinks in the outfit. I honestly wish that she came with an accessory originally I've always felt that uh, there was something missing in her outfit but yeah, I fixed that for now. And oh yeah, by the way, uh, you can also uh, remove the strap here so that it becomes just a literal handbag. <laughs> Overall, I really, really love this doll. Like, I love her entire look, her outfit. She is so pretty, honestly. Like, I love her from head to toe. Yeah. She's kind of worth it. And oh, by the way, she's only $50. Uh, the only caveat, though, is that uh, she is a Mattel Creations exclusive. So, um, us international collectors have to suffer because, you know, Mattel Creations, they're not the best at uh, delivering internationally. So, uh, yeah, I have to wait <laughs> a long, long period of time for my... Mattel Creations orders to get to me, but whatever, she's here now, and I really like her. <laughs> well, anyway, that is it for my review of the 55th anniversary Christie doll. 
So uh, tell me what you guys think of her. Uh, do you love her? Do you hate her? Uh, is she on your wish list as well? Uh, sound off in the comments below. And as always, I just want to thank you. Thank you so much for watching this video and for all the support that I've been receiving lately. Um, yeah, I wasn't expecting that uh, I'd be getting so much uh, love and support from the uh, doll community here on YouTube. And yeah, I'll try to do better. And uh, I have many more videos to come. So uh, yeah. Well, anyway, uh, you can also find me on Instagram and TikTok at AsherBarber9, where you can uh, view my photography as well as my short videos. Anyway, that's it for now. Uh, see you guys in the next one. Bye!